In my line of work too, I get a lot of hate mail from racist people. And a big part of it is talking about the false, the false equivalent. So um, why should black people care about police brutality when they're killing each other? What's the difference between January 6th and BLM? Can you talk about these, this rhetoric? Let's be clear that a lot of this is an attempt to distract us from the work that we need to do. The last two years have been incredibly difficult, not just for black folks, but for black folks with intersectional, multiple marginalized and oppressed identities. So there have been more than 270 pieces of anti-black, anti-truth, anti-LGBTQ pieces of legislation introduced in the last two years across 42 states. This at the same time that for the first time in our democracy's history, the Supreme Court has taken away a right. I spent a lot of time thinking about the connections between Roe and the attack on birthing people and the attack on black men and the war on drugs and, and, and the effects of people being removed from our community at the same time as the infrastructures that allow communities to exist and thrive are also being ripped from them. Talking specifically about people not having access to healthcare, life-saving and affirming, or schools, or broadband connectivity to be able to engage given all of the stuff that we're working through. And so a lot more of my energy is focused on like trying to figure out how to get ahead of the permutations and mutations of white supremacy. And in this moment, the thing that, I, that keeps me up at night is that not only have radical white supremacists figured out a way to win the courts, illegitimately pack the Supreme Court, but they've also found a way to legitimize discrimination. They just say it's my religious freedom. And so I spent this really long way of saying like, those are the things that I find are more concerning because it's the, uh, black feminists talk about the, the matrix of domination, their signs, systems, and symbols that allow white supremacy to be omnipresent yet hyper invisible. And so for me, the, the, the loud noise, the white boys and tiki torches, the Karens, like all of that is a distraction from, to me, the policy work where power is being seated and, and protected.